Hey, it's Lauren Andrews here from Dominion Lending Center's expert financial, optimalfinance.ca. I would love to introduce you to Samantha. Samantha came to us who wanted to buy a condo. She was um, living with her parents for a little bit too long, wanted to get on her own. And how much did Samantha have for a down payment? She had five thousand dollars she had some extra money for a closing cost she knew she would need it a little bit more for that but as far as down payment she only had five thousand dollars the condo that she wanted to buy was five hundred thousand dollars so how does samantha buy a condo with five thousand dollars in savings well i'm going to show you so first of all samantha comes to us she says this is her plan she really wants to get into a condo wants to own her her first property of her of her own she is a first-time home buyer right so knowing that she has five thousand dollars here is the plan step one samantha went to the bank and got a line of credit of twenty thousand dollars so samantha's been working for a while her credit's good the bank was able to give her and extend her a loan or a line of credit for that twenty thousand dollars so samantha takes twenty thousand dollars now and as a first time home buyer, she can take advantage of what's called the first time home buyer withdrawal plan from the RSP. So the first step is she had to open up an RSP. She took the $20,000 from the loan and deposited it into the RSP. Now this is really, really important around tax time because you can deposit to an RSP up until February, okay? And it will come off last year's taxes, okay? So just let me rewind a little bit. Some of you are saying, this is great. What's an RSP? So an RRSP is a retired registered, registered retirement savings plan. It allows you to deposit money in there. And basically what it is, is it's a tax deduction. So if I deposit $20,000 into my RSP, I take $20,000 off my income, and then I'm going to get a refund check. Generally, you get about uh, $250 for every thousand. That's at an average uh, uh, tax bracket, say around, obviously 20, around 25%. So for Samantha, she's gonna be getting $5,000 back as a refund. So basically the advantage putting into it is it's a tax deduction. So you're not gonna be paying taxes on that particular amount, but you will pay taxes when you withdraw. <clears throat> as a first time home buyer, you're allowed to withdraw up to $35,000 from your RSP with no tax deducted whatsoever. You just have to pay it back to your RSP over 15 years. Her refund was 5,000, she had 5,000, so now she has 10,000. Okay, she wants to buy a condo for, for 500,000. The minimum down payment that we need is 5%, which is 25,000. So where are we going to come up with this extra 15,000? Well, here we go. So what we did for Samantha to get her into the home is we used a lender that offered a cash back mortgage. And in this particular case, it was a 3% cash back mortgage. This gave her on the closing $15,000 cash back. So now Samantha's contributed $20,000 to her RSV, which she's going to be taking out, okay, as a first time home buyer withdrawal, plus her 5,000, which is her 25,000 that she's going to need which is 5% of a purchase price of the $500,000 condo that she's buying. Now, you're saying, well, she has now a $20,000 loan, which maybe after a few months um, is maybe 16, 17,000, maybe still has a balance, because she will have to pay that on a regular basis until that loan is paid off. Well, here's our solution for that. To get Samantha into the home, what we did is we did a 3% cash back mortgage, right? So basically that gave her 15,000 bucks back at the closing, which paid off the loan. So she doesn't have any extra debt going into that, that mortgage or going into that home as a first time home buyer. She can just focus on the mortgage payments and everything that, that has to do with that condo. So first time home buyers, you should be maximizing your RSPs. You can, there's a certain limit that you can contribute to your RSP. You can check on CRA and, um, or your statements that you get as well. They'll let you know exactly what your contribution limit is because there's carry forwards if you didn't use them from the previous year. So make sure you're not contributing over your limit, but you do want to start to contribute to your RSPs. If you can get up to $35,000 in there, then that's great because again, you're going to get money back from the government 
okay? Because now you've been paying taxes on a higher amount, so now you've lowered that amount by that RSP contribution, you're gonna get those refunds. Use those refunds as part of your savings for that down payment. It is brilliant. When you can start using other people's money, the government's money, their ability to actually uh, refund you um, money that you can actually be now be used to get into real estate and start building your net worth through real estate. That's that's huge. That's important. Any questions? Let me know. But this is a great story of how Samantha got out of her parents' basement, got her own condo, and uh, super super excited. Um, congratulations, to Samantha. And if uh, you have, we need any more information, we're here to help. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you at our next video.